Okay, so now I'm going to do an install of this uh, Noctua fan in my GameCube. My GameCube's fan works fine, actually. Um, I'm going to just hang on to it in case I need one in the future. However, uh, I do have the goal of building the ultimate GameCube here, so uh, this fan mod, the quiet fan, is part of that build. So um, I got this Noctua premium fan here. Um, it is the 12 volt one. Apparently that's something to watch out for if you are planning to do this yourself um, somewhere here. Right here it says operating voltage so you got to make sure that says 12 volts because uh, the GameCube runs on 12 volts. Okay so um, it came with this. Uh, I got it off AliExpress for around 23 or 24 dollars a couple months ago something like that so um, this actually comes with a bracket, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but let me just show you all the stuff that comes in the box, okay? And I'm not going to be needing all of this. Uh, here's the fan itself. It looks pretty nice. It's definitely a lot smaller than the GameCube's original fan. I mean, look at that. I guess that's why we need the bracket, huh? So uh, we have the fan. Uh, I'm going to need some screws. So there's four screws here. It looks like uh, there aren't any others inside the package here. Um, there's this stuff. I don't know what it's for. I really don't think I'm going to be needing these. I don't know what they're for. Um, they did include a little screwdriver though, which is nice. So uh, yeah, this is the real deal. Apparently these Noctua fans are really good. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. So now, uh, the bracket, so it came with this bracket. This is a separate thing. It was stuffed in the box when it came, um, and I tried to put it back in and I wasn't able to, so I don't know how they managed to get this to fit in the box with everything else, but it was in there. So this is like a custom, uh, I think it's a 3D printed bracket. Yeah, it looks to be 3D printed. So this is a little bracket and a little adapter for the GameCube specific type of uh, plug that it needs. So uh, yeah, and this is, the fan just slides right in here. I don't know which way it fits in, but actually it looks like we probably won't even need the screws. It'll just hold it in place, which is really nice. And I should be able to use the original screws. So this is what the original bracket looks like, by the way. Um, I was going to take it all apart on camera, but I decided not to because uh, I this was really dusty, actually. I just wanted to wash it off and dry it and all that. So I do have one other mod installed. This is a USB-C mod. Um, I forget the name of the company that makes these, but I will include that in the video. Uh, so... The bracket and the fan just kind of slots in like this. And then there's four of these little black screws that hold it in place. So uh, I think I'm going to be reusing those screws for the bracket. So uh, let's see now. What's the best way to go about this? So I think the, uh, let's see. This cable has to go through here. So if we hold it like this, let's see. It feels like the fan needs to be facing that way for it to work, for it to, to fit properly. But it's not supposed to be facing that way. It's supposed to be facing out. So. Hmm, let me just have a think about how this is all supposed to go together, and then I will resume. Okay, I'm back. So I figured it out. Um, so it goes in like this. So with, uh, basically, it can go uh, with the wire up like that. All right, so make sure that it's not like the part that the bracket part that holds it shouldn't be touching the side where the wire comes out. All right. And uh, now I've got the bracket and it's supposed to just kind of go in like this. So this wire folds over and there's enough space for it. 
it folds over and then comes out. So let's just try. I made it fit together before I started recording this. So let's go ahead and try it now again. Let's see. I've got this heat shrink tubing that it looks like heat shrink tubing or something that's sort of right in the spot where it's supposed to bend. So that's a little bit odd. Maybe I can just bend it like that, huh? Hopefully that won't damage it. I mean, that is the way that it's supposed to work. So, um, on the other hand, this, this bit might actually help to protect the wire a little bit in this spot. So that's how it fits together. There was actually, I went back and checked the AliExpress listing that I got this from, and it, they have a, a pretty good installation tutorial video. So um, I would suggest checking that out. I can try to put the link to that listing in the description. Although, as you know, with AliExpress, stuff just disappears and reappears under different names and different sellers. So I don't know if the link, or I, I'm not sure how long the link will be active for. But I will put it in just to be helpful and also, you know, credit where credit is due. They put together a pretty good video on that. So um, the reason why, again, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have this series I'm trying to do on building the Ultimate GameCube. So... This is one of those must-have ultimate GameCube mods, so that's why I am uh, making a video on it. Okay, so just putting in... So I don't need to use any of those screws that came in the box with the fan, all right? Um, they were here, these screws that came in the box. I don't need to use these because the fan doesn't screw into the bracket. It just clips in, and then it uses the original screws that came with the GameCube, which is great. So let's make sure this is in like so. All right, that's good. Okay, cool. So this section is done. What I'm going to do now is bring the GameCube over here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just uh, screw this part back in. So this holder goes like this. All right. And there's two screws that hold this in. So searching for the screws. Here we go. I dropped one. Okay, hold on. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so I'm back, and I did find that screw that I dropped on the floor. Uh, it took a little searching, but I was able to get it. Um, as for that other screw that just sort of disappeared on my desk, I have no idea what happened to it. It's like it just vanished. Uh, but anyways, you know, I kind of feel like this part of the GameCube like has way too many screws anyways. Uh, like you don't it doesn't feel like you need this many screws. So what I did was I just took one off of here uh, I feel like These screws are more important. I mean it's more important to have two screws here because they actually hold the bracket in place, right? Uh, and when I do eventually if I do eventually find that screw that just disappeared um, I'll just uh, replace that one that I took out. Okay, so I'm gonna screw these guys in to hold the bracket down in place. Okay, and the second one. All right, there we go. So that's good. Um, route this through here. Nice that there's the little tabs that show where it's supposed to go. Okay, so I can go ahead. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. There we go. So I can go ahead and plug this one in. I'm using my right hand, which is kind of tough because I'm left-handed, but I don't want to block the view. Uh, all right, so that's done. 
Now, this cable is really friggin' long. The adapter that came included with the bracket is like this. So I'm gonna plug that end into here. And it looks kind of fragile, uh, but it just needs to be plugged in once and then it'll just stay there forever. So go ahead and plug that in. It plugged in just fine, okay? And the other end plugs into here. Okay, there. So that's that. Now, uh, the part that remains is this thing. So the cable is like extra long, but there is space for it. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it'll be such a big problem because, and again, this is how they did it in that tutorial video on the uh, AliExpress listing, but it just basically went like this and it was fine. So I think it'll be fine for us too. So uh, why don't we test it out before we put the cover back on just to make sure everything is okay. And uh, there's that, so my USB-C cable's plugged in. So here we go, let's see if it spins up. And yeah, it's spinning. It's very quiet, it's much, much more quiet than the stock fan that stock fan was really loud so this is this is great i mean it's it's blown the air it is smaller than the original fan i'm not sure if that's going to be a problem but i think it's uh, also more efficient as well i mean this is like a brand new um pretty good quality i i i, I don't know if it's top of the line or not but it is pretty dang good so it should do a decent job cooling off the GameCube, it shouldn't be at any worse than the original at least. And it's a lot quieter, which is awesome. So that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on and uh, I'll just have a nice silent or relatively silent GameCube. Definitely a lot quieter than the original. Well, there you have it. A fully functional very, very silent GameCube with an upgraded fan. There it is inside there. I know the, um, the holes here are pretty dusty as well. They'll have to clean those out with a cotton swab. But yeah, it's in there. It's working. And uh, it's very quiet. Overall, I'm very happy with this mod. So the last bit that remains is to install the flippy drive and the flippy drive SD extension cable, which will add a little SD card slot right here where the light is. Uh, so that's gonna uh, have to wait a few months because I'm still on the waiting list for the flippy drive. I'm waiting for it to arrive. Um, it's, uh, the current status is sometime in April it's supposed to be shipped out. So I will be back with an update then and an installation, and then we will see the uh, ultimate GameCube in ac action. So. That's all for today. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.